Perhaps you don't think healing from PTSD is even possible. You've lived with it so long. And your trauma has caused you grief upon grief. And you can't even move forward basically in life because it seems like, well, there's always triggers, nightmares, or things that affect you because of what you went through. I am going to be leading a healing series from July into August. We'll see how far it goes on how to heal using the mind through biblical application. There's so many people that are suffering from things that affect their mind because of trauma as a child, trauma in the womb, trauma as an adult, whatever types of trauma, so many of us live with the effects of trauma. I myself am a survivor of 10 years of physical abuse by the hands of my father who was a social work. That broke down my boundaries so I suffered trauma from others. And so I have had to deal with so many of the situations that many of you have had to deal with. The triggers, the nightmares, how it affects your life in so many ways. Well, I'm going to be presenting a healing series based on what God has done to comfort me in all these years. I'm 66 now, and I've been a Christian for 50 years, and God rescued me. When he came into my life, I didn't think anybody loved me. Not my family, not my friends. They thought they liked me, but really nobody so when the pastor told me, God loves you, I was like, well, God loves me? <laughs> I was like, I myself, I'm thinking, you got to be kidding me. Nobody loves me. And he, I said, God loves me? And he says, yes, God loves you. And I remember just thinking, if God loves me, I want to love him right back. So I hope that you join me in the healing series because I am going to be taking you on a journey of what God took me on years ago, even up to the current time, because I'm still on the journey, but you would never know me because God has so transformed me and brought me into a place of peace and joy and transformation. Today, I'm just wanting to talk just a little bit about how we're going to move through the series and just give you some basic foundations. But I have been a nurse since 1980, so I've had to train and educate lots of people, lots of families. I've written a lot of different educational components for CEUs and just a variety of things, and I enjoy educating people and helping them to find a way of healing in their lives. Now, before most of it was physical, but now I know from living as long as I have that the mind, wounds of the mind and the soul that occur with trauma, abuse, war, all these different things, things we do ourselves and things done to us and things from nature even, right? They can so affect us. Now, here's a disclaimer. I'm not a psychiatrist. I'm not a psychologist. I'm not a licensed counselor. I am a registered nurse. However, I am not coming at this just this scientific way. I may talk and explain some things about the brain because I know it and some of the things regarding nursing, but I'm also bringing in, this is not like um, although I've used EMDR and dialectical behavior therapy and all these others, I've gone through those. This is about what God has showed me when he helped me to heal my mind. Knowing this is a disclaimer, this is not medical, this is not necessarily psychiatric. It's based on the Christian biblical application of the word of God while you're in relationship to him because that's the only way you can understand it is if you've committed yourself to Jesus and believe that we all are sinners in need of a savior 
and that God the Father, who is a triune God, sent Jesus, who is filled with the Holy Spirit, to live a sinless life and pay for your sins and mine so we could become born again, so born into his family. And at that point, then we're able, we're connected with God, we're filled with the Holy Spirit because it's so important when you read the Word of God that you also allow the Holy Spirit to bring it to your memory, to use it, to hear the voice of God. I'm going to be talking about all of that. So I have some foundational things that need to be understood before you progress in this healing series with me. And here are some of the foundational things, just basic things to understand and some of the premises that this is based on. I am created by God and I am valued and loved by Him. Ephesians 2.10 And these scriptures are ones and actually this um, Healing Mind series, the handout is available on my website at www.betsybohan.com. If you go to the downloads page, you will see the button that you can click on and download it and then download it to your phone or print it off or whatever. And then you can look up the scriptures that are there. They're personally picked out. I didn't put them there because this is to help you start to be able to engage in the process and do some of this work to work with the Lord and to find that healing. So here's the first one. I'm created by God and I am valued and loved by Him. Ephesians 2.10 God has my best in mind even if at times I don't understand things. Psalm 37, 23 through 31. God gives every person a choice to enter into relationship with Him. John 3, 16. The only way to have relationship with God is through Jesus Christ. John 14, 6, Acts 4, 12, 1 Timothy 2, 5 through 6. And all healing is the result of Jesus and His sacrificial death on the cross for us. Isaiah 53, 4 through 6, 1 Peter 2, 24, Matthew 8, 2 through 3, Matthew 9, 22, Acts 4, 8 through 12. And as I said, this is just a PDF. It's just a downloadable. And as I said, you can go on my website, www.betsybohan.com on the downloads page and you'll see the button there and you click click on there and if you'd like to you can subscribe to my um, email I will be getting out a newsletter or email it's just to let you know and in case anything ever happens to YouTube you'll know where to find me or I'll know how to contact you right you never know these days so here's a few other things a little few other things I want to explain to you one thing that I want to do before we start into the healing process is I have to give you some things that may help you to be able to kind of self-regulate yourself if you get dysregulated or triggered or whatever. I'm going to teach you what I was taught. Now, some of this is from my Christian counselors, actually, and some is just from the Lord, but it's all based on the Bible. So the one thing I want you to do is you need to create this happy place. It's like a place of gratitude and joy. And how it is, we're basing this on Philippians 4, 8, which says to think about whatever things are lovely and good, have any good report, and if it be anything good, think on it. And the God of peace will come. And so you'll have peace in your mind. Your mind will have peace. So what I want to do and how I do this and how I was told is you need to find something you can think about for five minutes. I know it's going to be hard, but I'll tell you what this is for. So I like to call it the happy place because it makes me happy when I thought of mine. She said you could basically think of anything, anything that gives you joy. Maybe it's something in the past. Maybe it's something in the future. Maybe it's something on your bucket list. 
maybe it's a person, an animal, whatever it might be. For me, it was thinking about a big white house in the country with a wraparound porch that had my husband and I, my son and daughter, and all these people I loved were all coming for a picnic. Yes, it's pretty involved. Eventually it grew, but it was just sitting on that with my husband, with our Bibles on our lap, with glasses of lemonade, waiting, and there were picnic tables in the front yard, waiting for friends who are coming down the road to come and enjoy each other. And so that was mine, and every time I thought about it, it just gave me such joy in my heart. It just made me so happy. And so what, what happens, and then while you're thinking about it, you deep belly breathe. So you're breathing in and out and you are the abdomen goes down the diaphragm goes down your belly goes out your lungs fill with air which is so healthy but what that also does what i read is that it kind of massages that vagus nerve and so helps with you to relax it helps to decrease anxiety you know they always say to deep breathe for like five minutes and that it will relax you well, when you combine that deep breathing technique of just slowly, you know, you can breathe into the count of four and out to the count of four. There's different types of breathing that people will, will talk about. Um, but the main thing is that you breathe slowly in, allowing your abdomen to go out and slowly out. Breathe out through your mouth, in through your nose, out through your mouth. It can just make you tired there. That, God, isn't God awesome? It is awesome how God made the human body. If that's one thing I've learned in nursing, it is amazing. So anyway, do that breathing along with finding this happy place, figuring out something that you can think about and you want to focus your mind on that. So this is, again, this is not new age. It's not anything like that. It's taking control over your thoughts. It's doing what Philippians 4, 8 says, to think about those things that are good and lovely of good report and anything that is of good will bring you those joyous feelings. It will release that endorphins. So what happens is that you train yourself. Do this three times a day, morning, noon, and night. And eventually, your body will get used to this. And when you start to even think about it, just even the beginning, it's like it just your body already recognizes and it begins to release the dopamine, the endorphins, those good chemicals into your body to help you to come down, to not be anxious, to feel happy, to feel safe, right? This is what you want. You want to have this safe place, a happy place, so that when you're feeling overwhelmed or when things are triggering you or you've had a nightmare or something you know comes from the past but it's not true today or even if you've just gone through something horrible today but you're away from it this is what you do you bring it to God but then you also just go to that happy place that place of contentment that place of joy the those good things that God gives you to think about but I actually have two I have the house one but then I also have where my husband and I are at a um, home that's on the ocean. We don't have one, but <laughs> in my happy place I do. <laughs> I, and I'm waiting for my son and daughter-in-law to come and stay with us. Isn't that funny? All might involve having loved ones come. I'm waiting for them to come and some are already there or whatever it may be. So I'm asking you to do that. And then next week... I will, we will start 
more. Uh, please have something to write things down. And again, remember, I'm not a psychiatrist or psychologist or a licensed counselor. I'm not even necessarily doing this um, as a result of a nursing. I'm doing this as a result of my personal experience, my own personal trauma that I went through as a child and traumas I went through as a teen and even into my adult, things that I still, some of them have to deal with today, but they don't rob me like they used to. They're manageable and I have understanding and I'm living a life that I could have never dreamed that I would have been capable of living before the Lord helped me. Well, I want to thank you for watching this video. I pray that God would bless you. I hope that you will join me on this journey for yourself and your loved ones and for your future. Um, remember, I am my mid-60s, so I want to help those of you that are younger than me not have to go through so many years of pain and hardship and trying to figure out how to heal and how to move on with your life and what can you do about this area you're so good in all these areas but this area that just triggers you and for those of you who might be my age or older that still suffer there are some things that i believe god has as we age that can also help us to find that peace and to find the freedom that jesus died to give us well, if you have not subscribed, but you'd like to, please do. If you want to, I'd love your comments. If there's certain things that you want to um, ask me or make sure I cover or make whatever, please do comment. Next week, I'll be hoping for comments about how and what your happy places are. And um, until then, oh, one more thing. I have shorts, so listen, a minute long short video on Saturday and short on Sunday. I feel like they're a little quick breakfast on Saturday morning to get you going with the Word of God and a good word. And on Sunday morning, it's a verse and a prayer to help you to last long, to finish strong, and to bring you all the way to the next weekend when I join you with another video. May God bless you and I pray that you find that peace, that freedom, that healing that God longs for you to have. Until next time, bye and be blessed.